in this lecture we will see the shortest path algorithms which is called single source shortest path algorithms in the shortest path algorithms first we will see the dijkstra algorithm there exist two algorithms are there dijkstra algorithm and uh, the flyard and washel algorithm these two are the very famous algorithms that are for the identification of the shortest path algorithm shortest path in a given graph there exist some other algorithms such as uh, bellman ford algorithm and uh, other related algorithms are there but uh, we are going to see one algorithm per category dijkstra algorithm is a very famous algorithm which is most mainly used in many of the uh, computer elementary computer networking routing protocol such as intermediate system to intermediate system routing protocol open shortest path first algorithm so given a graph g and a source node a the algorithm is used to find the shortest path between a and every node moreover dijkstra algorithm is also used for finding cost of shortest path from a source node to a destination node so it will be looking like uh, the construction of the minimal span entry however the main difference is uh, here we are going to identify the minimum cost path to each node in the graph so you can also use dijkstra algorithm and you can also find out the minimal span entry instead of uh, priskels and prims algorithm but uh, the main advantage of dijkstra algorithm is you can have or you can get a path a unique path and also a cost effective path from a single source to various destinations in the graph and there exists a limitation of the dijkstra algorithm dijkstra algorithm will not perform well or will not work in case of if the weights are negative so far we have seen the weight as zero or a positive number if the weight is have if the weight of an edge is negative then the dijkstra algorithm will not work so that is the reason we have gone to the other variety you can overcome this via bellman ford algorithm or uh, the flyard washel algorithm so we have gone to a flyer we have gone to the flyer uh, flyard and washel algorithm the reason is flyard and washel algorithm is very easy algorithm to implement and very easy to understand also so that is reason in this course uh, we have taken up the flyard washel algorithm so dijkstra algorithm is a very famous algorithm for uh, this uh, shortest path calculation dijkstra algorithm will not function or will not work if the uh, if the weights are negative so these are the two things you are supposed to remember and the time complexity of the dijkstra algorithm is order of uh, n square where n is the number of vertices in the graph now we will go for discussion on the dijkstra algorithm the dijkstra algorithm will look like this select the source node also called as initial node so you choose the initial node define an empty set n that will be used to hold nodes to a shortest path has been found label the initial node with zero and insert it into the n repeat the step 5 to 7 until the destination node is n or there are no more labeled nodes in n consider each node that is not in n what is this n the empty set n this empty set is, is nothing but initially you don't have any path so we are going to initialize the set as empty as we find the minimum cost path we are entering the vertices into the empty set so thereby the set will become the path set consider each node that is not in n and is connected by an edge from the newly inserted node if the node that is not in n has no labeled then set the label of the node is equal to the label of newly inserted node plus the length of the edge else if the node that is not in n was already labeled then set its new label is equal to minimum of label of newly inserted vertex plus length of the edge so you are supposed to add these two things comma old label here label in the sense uh, the cost the cost of the weight okay the cost of the weight pick a node not in n that has the smallest label 
assign to it and add it to the end. So this uh, 5 to 7, these operations has to be repeated till the until the destination node is in n or there are no more labels in the node n. So if you go for looking up the pseudo code, extra algorithm will look like this. You are supposed to take uh, two vertices v1 and v2. For each vertex v, v's distance is equal to infinity, v's previous is equal to none. V1's distance is equal to 0, list is equal to all vertices. While list is not empty, that means you are supposed to place all vertices. For example, a graph is consisting of 8 vertices, then 0 to 7, all these vertices to be placed in a list. While list is not empty, that means you are supposed to repeat uh, by taking each and, uh, individual vertices at a time. Then V is equal to remove list vertex with the minimum distance. So whatever the minimum distance is there, between the vertices, uh, that minimum vertex uh, uh, will be removed from the list. Mark V as known, that is, you have visited that particular vertex. For each unknown neighbor of n, neighbor n of V, distance is equal to V's distance plus edge of V comma n's weight. If distance is equal to, is smaller than the n's distance, then you replace that uh, uh, previous distance with the newly calculated smaller distance and reconstruct the path from V2 to, to V1 following the previous pointers. So once you move forward, how can you get back, uh, how can you come in reverse? So it is very difficult to come in reverse. So for this, what you are supposed to do is, you are supposed to use a intermediate data structure called Q. So, so whatever will be there in in the queue that is uh, first come first serve that means the first uh, vertex that is inserted into the node uh, into the queue will be displayed out first so thereby you can easily get the path instead of moving backward uh, you can insert the vertex number which is having the minimum distance uh, in the queue so this is in general people used to do now what we'll do is we'll we'll see an example here, this is a simple graph. This graph consisting of the vertices S, U, V, X, and Y. From initially, we are going to start with the S. So, the reason the vertex S vertex corresponding weight, I am going to place it as 0 because this is the starting vertex. Where in case of U and V, uh, X and Y, we have not calculated any cost. So, we are currently assuming the cost of these vertices are infinity. Now, from S, if you start, the you may go to the uh, U from S, at the same time from S you can also go to X. Whenever you go to from, grow, go from S to X, so obviously what is the weight of the corresponding edge? is 5. This 5 will be updated here because 5 is less than infinity. So 5 will be updated here and this path will be placed in a set. So S to X is 5. Next is S to U which is placed as uh, here the weight of the edge is 10. So 10 is less than infinity. So currently u is having no other path from s so you are going to save it as uh, set will be saved as s u and 10 for this uh, you may maintain a queue to insert the uh, elements like uh, for example i want to insert uh, the path uh, s to u first uh, s will be inserted next uh, u will be inserted since the first element inserted is S, so obviously S, U and some other path, whatever the path is there, that will be displayed. Instead of moving backward, you can also use a queue to uh, display the path. From S, X and if you want to visit U, okay, if you want to visit U, then you will be having direct path from S to U and also S to X and X to U. Right. 
this particular values were updated here 10 5 now you want you want to go from 5 to u v and y so because uh, adjacent vertices of 5 are u v and y because there is an outgoing edge so you are supposed to assume that the adjacent vertices are u v and y so whenever u v and y are there previously at u the minimum distance from s is 10 but whenever 5 is uh, from 5 the distance is calculated the distance will be like this from s to x the uh, cost is 5 and 5, 5 to u the cost is 3 so 5 plus the, there is a previous cost plus this uh, ongoing cost that is 3 is equal to 8 which is less than the cost which is already with the u so hence uh, this will be updated instead of 10 in the previous slide it will be replaced with 8 next uh, from s f x and to the destination v okay so s to x is 5 and uh, x to v is uh, 9 so 9 plus 5 is 14 which is less than infinity so infinity is replaced with 14 next 5 to 7 there is an edge with weight 2 so s to x 5 plus 5 to y that is x to y is 2 5 plus 2 is 7 7 is less than infinity so it will be replaced the uh, updated ones are 7 5 and these are the updated ones next uh, 8 is also updated there is no further movement uh, that you can choose because you can go you can you cannot have any path from 7 to 9 and 9 to 8 this is the only the final path available okay if you want to visit from 7 to uh, sorry um, you if you want to visit from uh, 0 to 7 there exists only one path available okay sorry there exists one path that is 0 to x sorry s to x x to y and uh, s to x x to u u to v and v to y if you put if you go around this uh, you will get more weight or more cost than already existing cost so this particular path can be ignored because we have kept a condition that whatever is the less cost is there that cost will be included next from 9 you look at uh, from 7 you look at outgoing edges are uh, to 9 uh, to v sorry from y outgoing edges are v and uh, s so no need to consider this so 7 is also visited now now left over is 9 previously now 9 is one left over from this outgoing edges outgoing edges means uh, here 9 to y that is v to y so v to y is the outgoing edge so if you consider v to y what you will get nothing you will get so this particular thing is also visited further you won't have uh, vertices to visit so thereby you will stop here now the path from s to u is uh, the best path is s to x and x to u which is giving you 8 as the value next if you want to visit v even though the, there is a path from s to x and x to v the best path is s to x and x to u and u to v which is giving you the uh, 9 as the cost if you go via s to x and x to u x to v the cost is 14 so this cost this path cost is very less compared to the uh, two two vertices cost like uh, s to x and x to v next uh, s to x uh, sorry s to 7 uh, s to y there is a path from s to x and x to y even though you have a path from s to x x to u u to v and v to y this is a very lengthy path because this path is having cost as 7 so in this way you will get the uh, minimum spanning minimum uh, minimum distance or minimum cost on each path thereby you will get uh, the 
single source shortest path that is from one single source to all other what is says in the graph what is the best cost with which you can reach that particular destination this is the uh, this is the concept of uh, dijkstra algorithm which is single source shortest path algorithm now this is the let will see the program for dijkstra algorithm this is the program to demonstrate the dijkstra single source shortest path algorithm here i have considered hash include stio.h uh, stdlib.h define nov nov means it's not november it is a number of vertices so i have mentioned as 5 and i want to mention the infinity infinity is nothing but uh, there is no path between the vertices then i have mentioned a big number like a 9999 like that okay i have considered this graph and uh, this graph corresponding weights uh, uh, this is a directed graph this directed graph corresponding weights uh, were entered in the program you can look at the powerpoint slide that i will place in the google classroom number of uh, vertices are 5 here 1 2 3 4 5 five vertices are there from a to a there is no path a to b there is a path which is of cost 10 a to c there is a path which is of cost 3 like that uh, i have entered manually like a in a matrix two dimensional matrix wherever there is no path i have mentioned as infinity now dijkstra single source shortest path algorithm in which uh, you need to have you need to supply the matrix and the starting vertex so this is the dijkstra algorithm from the wikipedia the dijkstra algorithm is like this it was given here like this function dijkstra graph comma source that is the starting vertex from where you are going to get but you are going to start so create a vertex set q and for each vertex v in the graph you are supposed to initialize the distance previous node and uh, add this v to q then distance the same thing what i did is i have programmed here whatever is there in the wiki uh, same algorithm i have implemented in c next uh, initializing the cost matrix so you are supposed to initialize the cost matrix and initialize the parent distance and visited matrix so initially the distance is equal to cost of starting vertex comma i parent of i is equal to starting vertex visited is equal to 0 so visited is equal to 0 so this is the initialization this initialization has been done now while num node count is less than the number of uh, vertices minus 1 minimum distance is equal to infinity now we are supposed to compare uh, with the minimum distance distance of i is less than the minimum distance and not visited if the particular vertex is not visited then minimum distance is equal to the distance which is already available with that particular vertex so the distance is nothing but this is the this is the thing we have seen previously we have initialized it as infinity if it is uh, if the corresponding edge distance uh, edge weight is less than this particular infinity then this should be placed here okay so that is the that is the program which was written here next is the next node is equal to i that means since we have showed the minimum distance the next node to be placed so next node is equal to i checking for availability of better path using adjacent nodes so from the visited of uh, next node is equal to 1 so you choose the next node visited as visited then for i is equal to 0 to i less than uh, num number of vertices if not visited the other particular vertex is not visited then minimum distance plus cost of uh, next node of i next node and i is less than the distance of i then distance of i is equal to min distance plus cost of nn i then parent of i is equal to nn next node count plus plus so here you are supposed to choose from the path uh, you are supposed to choose the cost from the path that is s to x and s to x u so now here whenever you update the path you update the cost here at the u at u then this particular cost is less than the path uh, path cost here and you should also remember who is the parent from where you got this particular path that is at here at u you are supposed to save the value x because from x you have received this minimum weight that is what the cost that is what the concept of parent here so parent of i is equal to next node
like that uh, you are supposed to store the path once you store the path uh, you can display this particular path once all these nodes are visited then there is nothing to visit again visit uh, uh, visit so once the uh, loop is closed you are supposed to go for displaying the path and distance of each node so for i is equal to 0 to i less than number of vertices if uh, because in the path we should not uh, consider the starting vertex because we should uh, make use of we should stop the path uh, since you are going to uh, you are going to print the path in reverse manner so here i have not used queue directly i have printed in the reverse manner you may also queue why you may also uh, use queue uh, while printing it because here instead of parent of i is equal to nn uh, you may play you may push it into the queue that is insert into queue uh, parent of i okay like that you can you can insert and you can print afterwards i have not used the queue here simply uh, i have stored in parent and i have printed in reverse manner so then uh, get the parent node and uh, pre node is equal to parent of pre node then uh, print f in reverse i am going to print this pre node then uh, while pre node not equal to starting vertex till the time this loop will repeat and uh, the reverse path the path will be printed in the reverse manner now dextra single source s graph is a static graph that i have included here and uh, i have mentioned the starting vertex as zero okay now i will run this code now the distance of node 1 is equal to 7 and the path is like this 0 2 1 okay distance of uh, node 2 is 3 0 to 2 distance of node 3 is equal to 11 the path is from 0 to 2 2 to 3 distance of node 4 is equal to 5 0 to 2 2 to 4 so these are the available paths with minimum cost that were printed so instead of printing in reverse you may use a queue and insert into the queue and print the queue okay that also you can do it so i am somewhat little bit lazy so i have not written the queue uh, but uh, if you want to write a full fledged program, you may write a queue and insert into the queue. This is the uh, Dijkstra single source shortest path algorithm code. This code I have written with respect to the algorithm given in the Wikipedia. So, in Wikipedia, uh, history, arts, and uh, biography of a person cannot be trusted. However, this kind of algorithms can be trusted. So, we can take the algorithm and we can implement in whatever the language we want.